Characteristics of Stars If you have ever gone camping, you will notice the sky is filled with stars of different sizes, colors, and brightness. We classify stars by those traits. Color, size, and brightness. Let's look at color. It's determined by how hot the star is. Now, when you were young, you learned that blue equals cold and red equals hot. But that's not the case with stars. Blue stars have the hottest temperatures and red stars have the coolest temperatures. As you can see, the blue stars have the highest temperatures of over 30,000 plus Kelvin. As you go down to blue, white, white, yellow, white, yellow, orange, red, reds have temperatures below 3,500 Kelvin. Now let's look at size. Stars come in a variety of sizes, from supergiants to dwarfs. This is a supergiant called UY Scuti. Here's a giant called Aldebaran. Then we have a main sequence star, like our sun. And if you can see it, that small little white dwarf, that's Sirius B. Moving on to brightness and magnitude. There are two different ways to determine the brightness or magnitude of a star. Apparent magnitude is how bright the star appears to us. But absolute magnitude is the actual magnitude of the star if its distance was 10 parsecs from Earth. Apparent magnitude is influenced by the distance to Earth, size, temperature, light pollution where the observer is located. Astronomers use a star's absolute magnitude when classifying it to remove human influence on the brightness. The more negative a star is, the brighter it is, and the more positive a star is, the dimmer it is. So supergiants like Rigel are extremely bright, and white dwarfs like Procyon B are extremely dim. The HR Diagram You see, astronomers use a tool called the HR Diagram to classify and compare stars. The HR diagram plots stars according to their temperature, which is their color, and absolute magnitude. And some HR diagrams will also show the size of star based on the size of the dot. Astronomers will also group stars together on the HR diagram based on their location and size. So as you can see on this HR diagram, we have the main sequence stars, the supergiants, the white dwarfs. We can see the sizes and colors of those stars. We can see that our star is an average temperature star, an average size star, and an average brightness star on that HR diagram. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.